Agricultural biotechnologies can help to develop sustainable food systems and improve nutrition in the context of climate change. That is why the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, has decided to host a symposium dedicated to this theme. FAO believes that we will need to be open towards various approaches that can help ensure food security and nutrition, and that various approaches should include biotechnologies as one of the main uh, aspects of uh, toolboxes. So we would like to have this uh, uh, scientific debate and uh, platform for, to exchange ideas to illustrate in practical uh, cases where biotechnologies have worked to benefit smallholder farmers and consumers. Every year, somewhere in the world, swarms of locusts devour crops and rangelands, jeopardizing the food security of millions of people for whom agriculture is the only source of income. For more than half a century, chemical pesticides have been the most rapid and efficient method of controlling infestations. And while they're still essential in handling major crises, their efficacy has a price. By definition, a pesticide is a poison. Even if used in an appropriate way, there is a risk for human health or the environment. People in developing countries sometimes collect locusts for consumption, even after being warned that they have been treated with dangerous pesticides. We know perfectly that locusts are treated with pesticides, but we don't have anything to eat, so we collect them. As well as representing a threat to human health, if not handled safely, conventional pesticides can have significant negative effects on the environment. They can kill other insects that are vital to ecosystems, and they can pollute soils, vegetation, air, and water. Because of that, for more than 30 years, FAO has been working with locust-affected countries to identify less harmful methods to control locust infestations. Metarhizium acridum, which is a natural fungus, was identified as the right solution to combat locust. Using the biopesticide, the result, the final result, will be the same than using conventional pesticides. Uh, the difference is it is not harmful for human health and the environment, and it is the, the best use possible is in the framework of uh, a well-implemented locust preventive control strategy. This biopesticide is formulated using the spores of a fungus, which is specific to locusts and grasshoppers. When the spores come into contact with a locust, they germinate and penetrate its cuticle. At that point, the fungus develops inside the body until it kills the insect. As the fungus develops, it will first give the locust a pink-colored tint and then cover its body with mycelium. In operational use, the spraying equipment is the same utilized for conventional pesticides, but the biopesticide takes a few days to produce the same results. I really convinced that biopesticide is the right way to face and deal uh, properly with locust issues on a sustainable way. While this biopesticide isn't a viable substitute for its chemical counterpart during a severe upsurge, it does constitute a good resource when dealing with ecologically sensitive areas and remains an effective tool for safeguarding crops and guaranteeing food security for thousands of livelihoods. <laughs>